Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is a reading for my Capricorns. Y'all, I'm feeling real cozy. So let's get straight into it. Yahweh, I come to your prayers since you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that are trying to harm me or throw off this reading, I ask you go ahead and banish them to hell where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, Capricorn, let's get straight into it. Hopefully, today's reading is good. There's no drama. There's no sneakiness. But y'all already know, there's always something going on in Capville. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Mm. Hold up, what was that? Okay. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Y'all see how them things come on? I don't know, man. Okay, so I'm getting this boost of just like energy, right? But it's like a hot energy, like a fire underneath my ass. And it's because a fire sign, mm -hmm. an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius is mad that you no longer are an access to them. You know, they can't access you no more in no type of way. You let this person go. And every time they hit you up, what you tell them? No, thank you. Pass, go. Move along, ho. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've learned so many lessons about this person. You learn so much about this person, so many secrets, so many things that they try to keep from you. And you would never, you would rather get ran over by 50 trucks before you get this person a chance again. And they know that, but this person's ego so big that they, that they think that eventually you will soften up. You won't. <laughs> you won't because you've run out of patience and you ain't got time for this person no more. <laughs> so them coming back is a no-no. Yeah. Mm. Cause you're being guarded and you're being protected from this person because this person has mental health issues as well as an STD that they're either, they're fighting through it right now or they're gonna end up getting it as karma. Mm -hmm. But this person does want you to open up and soften back up to them because they are trying to manifest you back into their life, baby. It's because they're currently unhappy in the relationship that they're in and they have a weird obsession with you. So expect this person to reach out to you. And for some of you all, this person may want may have plans to get you pregnant or have a family with you. Or for some of you all, this person already has a family that they're trying to get away from just to be with you. But this person's money ain't right and you're not gonna be happy with them because this person is the type of person who likes to go on vacations to screw around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see when this person going to reach out. When is this person going to reach out? 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 Okay. So... It's going to be within four years, so it could be a year from now, two years from now, three three years from now. It's within a four-year range. It's going to be on a Saturday in December, so on a cold-ass day, this cold-hearted bitch is going to try to come back and warm you up. Mm-mm. 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 No. Don't be like the lady who warmed up that snake just to get bit, because that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Give me a hidden truth about this person. What's the hidden truth about this person? 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 I'm hearing a lot of you belong to me, but I don't think that you belong in this person. They just have a very huge ego and they just refuse to see you actually move on and be happy. This person is somebody who will rather you be unhappy with them than be happy with somebody else. This, this is a weirdo. This is somebody who also hides behind material things. So they may have a nice car or a nice, or a nice place or they may dress nice. But this person is not a good person at all. Okay. This person does look for you everywhere. So this person is somebody that is very, very, you know, prone to stalking 
as well as um, dating other people who are similar to you or may look similar to you. And they are the type of person who would try to mold their person to be just like you, but they have not been able to be successful in that. So what are they trying to do? Come back to you. Because this person is very intoxicated by you. They have an obsession with you. And that obsession is not going to die down no time soon. They're very cowardice as well. So that is why they're waiting on you to reach out to them instead of them reach out to you because they don't want their ego to be crushed and smashed like the ant that they are when they reach out to you knowing that they're not a good person knowing that they're not changing never will change this is somebody who also understands and realizes why you don't want to deal with them but they are still trying to fight for you okay it's because your energy is an energy that they can't get rid of especially it's like it's like having candy for the first time once you have candy for the first time, it's really hard to stop eating candy. That's what your energy feels like. Candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Current love life in my Capricorns. 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 Current love life for my Capricorns. Current love life for my Capricorns. A lot of you all are only trying to focus on healing yourself, doing things that make you happy. And also you're dating around right now, trying to find somebody who is more like, you know, somebody that you can see yourself settling down with. Somebody you can have real strong, real communication with. Like people nowadays don't know how to communicate. And that's the reason why the relationships fail. You're looking for somebody who you can have a lot of chemistry with, who is very great in the bedroom, but is also very loving and romantic. But just know that somebody is going to be coming back very soon. You're going to end up getting this new person or that funky ass ex we talking about. Is going to be trying to return to you. But this person is the same as they left. A flirt, a player, somebody that you cannot put all your eggs in a basket. And it's because this person is so one-sided. Forever and always will only care about themselves. Somebody who cares only about themselves is somebody who will never love you properly. Let's get it right, okay? Do you truly want to wake up five years from now with somebody who talks to you crazy? Treats you like shit, makes you feel small, cheats on you, makes you feel like you can't do no better. So when you do leave, they constantly blowing up your phone, making you fall back into the trap of how you, how, how you was just in. Do you really want somebody who is going to sell you dreams about how life is going to be like this and they're going to be doing this and they're going to be doing that. And then you wake up a year from now and they didn't did shit. Capricorn. You know you deserve better if you're trying to go back to this person. And if you're with somebody like this, you definitely deserve better. I'm just saying. Okay. Let's get some new love for my singles because reconciliation is out here. But if you reconcile with this person, you're going to be so unhappy. You're going to be crying damn near every day. Because this person is somebody who don't give a damn about your feelings. If anything, they get off on hurting you, to be honest. New love for Capricorn. New love for my Capricorn singles. 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 New. New love for my Capricorn singles. All right, so be careful when it comes to this new person. I feel like you may meet somebody completely new. This person is going to be a red flag. You're going to be very eager to jump into something fast with this person, but then quickly you're going to figure out that this person ain't shit. They're going to be very childish. They're going to be very damaged. You're not going to be able to trust this person, and they're going to come in all hot and heavy doing doing all this nice stuff for you and you're gonna realize that they got mommy issues daddy issues and trauma that they have not worked through and then it's gonna cause them to be the most horrible partner ever but they are going to hide under the mask of somebody who wants something long term they're gonna be constantly throwing up how they want to have kids how they want to have a, a family with you how they want to move you know move to um move in together or have a home together this is somebody who hides their bullshit underneath the mask of somebody who wants something long term 
Okay, Capricorn, this is somebody who knows that you are a family-oriented type of person. So they're going to use the things that they know that you tr truly care about to keep you holding on to them. Okay? And for some of you all, this is the relationship you're going to be in with this ex of yours that you choose to take back if you reconcile. This person is going to constantly hold over your head. Oh, well, we, I want to have a family with you. I want to, you know, move into a house with you. You know, I want to do this and that, build a, a business with you. We can have this and that. We're going to do this and that. It's all shit and lies. Shit and giggles and lies. Because in five years from now, you're you going to be hearing the same shit. And you ain't going to see no changes. Just saying. Don't let people sell you no dreams, man. Come on now. This person ain't nothing but a liar. And they're going to backstab you. Everything that they say, you can't even... You can't even... It don't mean shit. That word is not their bond. Their word is just bullshit. Give me some advice for Capricorn. 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 Yeah, this person... All they really care about is sex, for real, for real. They, they're probably somebody who like who wants to like carry on a legacy. So this somebody who may get you pregnant and then skedaddle. They'll be a shit father or a shit mother. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who probably has been very coddled as a kid. So you're going to have to feel like this person's mother or their dad. Also, they may have a drinking problem. And they have some very bad trauma. You know, they probably have gone through a lot in their childhood, which made them into a horrible person today this person is still the age of when they were um when they dealt with some type of abuse so it could be physically emotionally you know mentally it could be anything like that but this person is stuck at the age of where their life went wrong and you're too good for that shit plus this person broke as hell anyway broken on the inside and broken on the outside so you need to stop working with this motherfucker okay this person also has mommy and daddy issues They always, they always say that they got something. Like they may seem like they have, they may brag on what type of money that they may be having coming in. They may brag on savings and stuff like that. But this person don't have as much as they come off as. They're also an energy vampire. So there's somebody who just drains you, drive your energy of just, uh, they just make you feel depleted by the end of the day. Dealing with this person is beyond stressful. And plus this person, this person has a drinking problem or some type of like addiction to something. And honestly, you deserve so much better. They have bad intentions. They have a horrible attitude, a bad, smart mouth. It's somebody who expects things from people. So they're very like entitled and they're a charming devil. So whenever you decide to, oh, fuck you, I'm going to leave. They, they bait you back in with the shit that you care about. A family, a home, happiness. This is that type of person to keep you from going, from, to keep you from leaving they, they dangle whatever you care about most in front of your face. Ooh, this motherfucker. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's get you some tea. Give me some tea about this person. Give me some tea for Capricorn. What's the tea for Capricorn? What's the tea for Capricorn? What's the tea for Capricorn? What is the tea for Capricorn? Because why are you with this person if you're with them? And why go back to this person if they choose to come back? Okay, because this person is very small and they can only offer you small shit. This person is also a player. So everything that they're talking about, how they want to have family and all this bullshit, is bullshit. They're playing with you. They're playing with you. And you're not second. You're number one. So don't allow yourself to be put on a back burner for nobody. Because this is somebody who actually, truly, don't give a damn about you. It's all about them, okay? Okay? And it's somebody who will be the type of person to ruin the connection on purpose. So as soon as things are going good or this person feels like it's not going their way, they're going to ruin their relationship. They're going to break up with you or, or cause you to want to break up with them. Push you, make you push you away from them. This is somebody who also doesn't want to be seen as a bad guy or a bad girl. So they're, they're the type of person that will make you break up with them instead of break it off with you. But either way it go, 
This ain't this this person ain't it, baby. This ain't this ain't it. This person might also um have gone through a lot of relationships, being cheated on and things of that nature, lied to, and this person they didn't need that that's all I can say is they need a lot of healing done. I would say this motherfucker need therapy to be alone for a while. Because I feel like this is somebody who jumps into relationships instead of jumping into a healing stage. Is what they really need. Anyway. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. This is a message. Give me some angel. Oh, wait. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Angel messages for my Capricorns. Okay. So you must know that you are on the right path and you're not alone, okay? Know that you are being divinely guided to the right direction. And on that direction, this motherfucker cannot go with you. If you're with this person right now, let them go. If this person is trying to come back to you, don't let them in. And if you meet somebody like this in the future, run away, okay? Focus on manifesting your goals, baby. Because only you matter at this point right now. Only you. Because you've been dealing with a bunch of people who's only been caring about themselves. Now it's time for you to care about you. Okay? Yeah, be selfish. <laughs> it's also, it says, um, it's the small things in life that matter the most. So live your life. Don't allow yourself to become very, you know, depressed and overworked and you know overstressed continue to be lighthearted. continue to have fun and just live life as it comes live every day as it comes don't try to be more than what you know you can be don't try to do more than what you can do okay capricorn everything fixes itself also know that you do have a connection with the spiritual realms and divinity so basically use your intuition more you be knowing what people ain't shit, but you choose to give them the time of day. Like a dumb ass. I said it. I said it. I said it. Because Capricorn, you could be a little too open. You could be a little too loving. You could be a little too caring. You could be a little too much of a save a hoe. And that does not that does not that does not benefit you in the slightest. Sometimes being a good person is a curse and that is the reason why capricorn you have the gift of knowing because you are such a good person that it could kind of it could kind of be a curse okay let's get a takeaway message okay right. y'all we keep getting positive thoughts your positive thoughts will manifest in the things that you want out of life the people you want the opportunities you that you want everything that you want just think positively and break the cycle. Okay? It's time for your comeback. Okay, Capricorn? It's literally time for your comeback. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. I hope that you got everything that you need to know. I want to thank you all for the love and support that y'all show me on a daily. I appreciate you, Booski. Thank you all for the donations. I also want to say, if you want to find me on personal, if you want to find me on social media, or give me on the phone for a personal reading, everything is in my description box below. Bye, my loves. Love yourself as much as I love you. And don't let this person come back and mess up your major comeback. Bye. Mm -hmm.